It's going to come up. You don't want it to, you don't want to spit it out. I don't want to eat egg shell. Egg challenge done. <laughs> What'd you guys think? I like it. It doesn't have a taste. Just <laughs> Raw egg challenge done. Wow. Abby, how about you? Nope. Nolan? They did it. Okay. <laughs> Are we really doing this? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so here's our wood pile so far. We still have quite a bit of logs to do, but it's okay. It's not even summer yet. What are you doing, Frankie? Are you watching your turkeys? Literally every night we let the dogs out from our downstairs door <laughs> and we're keeping the turkeys in our guest bedroom. Yep, and she'll sit down here forever. She uses my slippers as a pillow and she just sits here and watches them. Sometime we'll open the gate and I'll show you what happens. It's hilarious. She, she just sits still as a stone and then the turkeys like to jump up on that little piece of sheetrock right here and they like to try and roost on there when we go in and give them food and water. And she will literally sit nose to nose with these turkeys. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I'll try and remember to do that tomorrow. Frankie, you gonna stay down here with your girls and boys, your turkeys? <laughs> Who knew? Beautiful day for a hike. All the sage is coming out. We're out here looking for antler sheds. But how beautiful is this? It's just awesome out here. Leave it to Frankie to find the only last bit of ice and make it her meal. Snow cone. Silly girl. dog. Got the last piece of the day and then we can move the scaffolding for the last time on this side. You can see how much he got done today. So we're past all the windows. Oh, out the window. <laughs> oh I see little feet hanging out the window. <laughs> it's looking really good though. Last piece, huh? For this side?
So just came down to say goodnight to the turkeys and make sure they were all full up on their water and food. And we'll usually sit here at night for a little while. But we've never had four, oh hi. We've never had four of them roost up here before. And they love this pot. I put it in there, that was the only thing I had to take out old bedding. And when I came back, they were all huddled in it and they loved it. So we just keep filling it with straw, What's letting them hang it? out in it. Yeah, yeah, no, we had like 12 in there last yeah. night. <laughs> oh, you're so getting so agile. It's so fun to watch them grow. Look at that one. She's a beast. So the kids decided, I mean, they want to keep a couple, but Everything I read said that they're too, they get to be too big and then they just become harmful to themselves. But so this big girl, <laughs> you can tell she's top of the food chain. Jameson colored her back green today. And then right next to her, which is kind of funny, is Tommy. And that's Crosby's bird, which is really cool because Jameson's just a little bit bigger than Crosby, so this is really fitting. But now we can tell them apart. If for some reason, once processing time comes and we decide, oh, they're at a healthy weight, maybe we just let these two ladies come and hang out with us for a year and get some eggs. But some of them have been starting to strut. I don't know if I can get any on the... There's a recording, but oh, it is hilarious. These guys are just comical and they're fighting and they're, oh man. They're really coming into like adolescence, <laughs> yikes. And this one just sits here like, I'm just gonna roost right here by the big black dog. Crazy. There's some strutage. You see that one over there that's like, hey, yep, look at me. Everyone, look at me. That big, beautiful strutage. Oh, look at that fan. Okay, so we keep assuming that these are males, but I've been chatting with a few people who have raised turkeys in the past, and they keep telling me, no, nope, it could be female. You don't know. They're, it's too early to tell. I don't know. That, that's Tom behavior right there, don't you think? Like, look at them. They're like, yep, look at me. I'm going to strut my stuff. And I think it's the females that are, like, vicious with each other. I don't know, we'll see. Time will tell. Look at all of them now. They're getting real, real showy right now. There it goes. Oh, look at that. I can drag my wings. Right? It's so cool to watch. And then their flight practice, and oh man. They're like great. Getting done now. Feels like the circus a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. These two work really well together, though. Oh, shit, you're there? <laughs> he meant shoot. for water okay so <laughs> the other day we put in a new gate I'm going to show you this okay so hi ladies they're ready for dinner so they put a new latch on here 
okay? And then also on this one, it's just a lock right up there, okay? So the other gate is right here, and that's where we put the other latch. Came in a two pack. So the other day, I came up here, did my business with the little babies in here, gave them some food and water, and then I went into the big duck area, which is just through this door. And I went to grab some straw for the turkeys. Because as you can imagine, 96 turkeys are very messy. So I came out and what I had done is I had only put, I had only shut, I kept the top one shut because I was like, oh, I'll just duck through the bottom so I don't have to try and open the door and lock it because it's kind of hard to lock. Well, this door down here is shut. This one up here was locked, so I was stuck in here. <laughs> I was literally locked in the duck house. I was in the quack house with you guys. So I had to go over to the window, and luckily we didn't have any music on in the house. But Brandon wasn't home, he was off doing something. And so I'm screaming out the window for the kids, and luckily one of them heard me and came running and let me out, but yeah, never again. Right, little cutie pies? Pretty soon, once it warms up a little bit more, we're going to put a little gate out in this area here so that these guys can get to know the little ducks and vice versa, and they can get used to being outside. But I, if you're wondering what this little area is here, I planted some barley underneath that straw. So it's just, you know, old, dirty bedding. So it's good fertilizer. So I'm gonna test it. We have all this barley that we're not using. And are you guys hungry? They're like, why are you not feeding us? So then this will be the pig area right here. You can see where all this straw is around here. This will be where the pigs are kept. So I did the same thing out there too. I mean, it'll literally last on maybe an hour, but it's an hour. It's all right. It was free. We'll test it, test it out and see if it works. And if it works, well, then we might just use it for the rest of the property. Oh, Lord. I swear, they, they take off like five years of my life every day. No, maybe not, but... <laughs> These two, man. Trouble. <laughs> Glad you guys are having fun. All right, so we went to our local tractor supply company, which is always a super fun thing. And we picked up this cattle fencing. And these are going to be for our three pigs that we are getting hopefully this weekend. So we started sprouting some barley in this area. I'm not sure that it's gonna work because it freezes at night and it's just too dry. But whatever, they'll be able to root through and hopefully eat all that stuff but this will be their little area we only have well so we're, we're testing it out this year we do have like two acres on the front property that's kind of pasture land but it's also hilly so we're gonna keep the three pigs here this year and see if this works if not then we will try it in a different area next year okay so a little a little ducky outdoor time. We'll see if they want to come out. Come on, girls. This is probably going to be a lost cause today, but we'll at least try it. Right? Come meet your new friends. So we got the pig shelter almost done. So this is where our little piggies will sleep at night. And then they'll have this area to live in until it's time for their lives to be done almost actually I think this is halfway this one that he just put up I think this is halfway done with this side and then we will be almost halfway done with the house he had a ladder way up on top to get that top piece Oof. I think we were all holding our breath a little bit The last piece of this side is going up, so that is the vent, the bathroom vent. That's where there's a hole in the side. It's 
snowed today. It's like 40 degrees. So these guys were pretty cold this morning getting this job done, but man, it looks so good. Well, it's been a good week. It's a little cold today, a little windy, but it was beautiful the last week. So we can't complain. One, one cold day, it did snow today, it was, was bizarre. Brandon got the second side of the house sided and it looks amazing. So we're thrilled with that. And my parents come into town tomorrow. They get to be here for six days. So very excited about that. And then it's on to the next, on to the next. We've got a lot of people coming soon. So hope everybody's doing well, finding some happiness outside in nature. And with that, we'll talk soon. Thank you.